the stupidity and the evil of the Haqqani Network's kidnapping of a pilgrim and his heavily pregnant wife engaged in helping ordinary villagers in Taliban-controlled regions of Afghanistan was eclipsed only by the stupidity and evil of authorizing the murder of my infant daughter, Martyr Boyle. Good evening. That was a visibly angry Joshua Boyle on Friday night, back on Canadian soil with his family, denouncing the group that kidnapped his pregnant wife and him in Afghanistan five years ago. But not everyone is believing his story. Our Facebook page full of people questioning his intentions and having concerns about them coming home. Take a look at some of them. Tom Mott, this guy and his wife better be on a terrorist watch list for the rest of their lives. Also from Patricia Curry, Boyle is a radicalized Canadian and his wife a radicalized American. So as far as I'm concerned, Trump better keep them out of the states or they will be helping them radicalize more Americans. And one more here, Sam Bellissimo. Something about this Boyle guy and his wife does not sit well with me. I don't think the truth is being told, but a, radicalized ex a radicalization expert we spoke to feels that we should be welcoming Boyle home, not treating him like a pariah. I think what happened is his naivete collided with the brutal reality that is that side of the earth. Mubin Sheikh met Boyle about eight years ago, and while on Friday, Boyle said he and his wife Caitlin Coleman went to the region where they were abducted because no aid groups would go there and he wanted to help Sheikh has his doubts. He says back when he met Boyle, Boyle wanted to connect with Muslim extremist groups and likely lean toward their cause. Sheikh believes that's why he married Omar Khadr's sister. He would have had to convert to marry uh, Zainab Khadr, of course, the Khadr family. Uh, and I think he used that to get an in into the region. What about their four children born in captivity? Of course, only the three of them surviving. Why did they do it? Well, in a statement to the Associated Press today, Boyle said, quote, hey, let's make the best of this and at least go home with a large start on our dream family. Also, this quote, honestly, we've always planned to have a family of 5, 10, 12 children. We're Irish, ha ha. Shake says, even in the conditions they were forced to live in, he's not surprised that they decided to try and have the children. Prisoners have sex with each other. I mean, you can imagine a couple that's in prison for five years. I mean, let, let's be realistic. Uh, I don't think that's a, an odd aspect of the story at all. Now, last week, the family was rescued by the Pakistanis acting on American intelligence. Many worry, though, that the two of them may have been radicalized during their five years in captivity. But Sheikh doubts that. He feels this opened their eyes to the horrors of the Taliban and they should be embraced, not ostracized. We can say all these things about the mistakes they made and this and that, but at the end of the day, now that they're here, you know, we, we should try to make their, their stay as, as least traumatic as possible. Now, Sheikh believes that uh, Boyle has been left so scarred by this that he has developed a deep hatred possibly for Islam and may want to renounce the faith entirely.